Welcome to our channel. Today we will show you how to print TPU on the KP5 series. Here is the general PLA material. If we keep twisting and bending it, it finally gets broken. And here is the general TPU material. It is flexible and has great tolerance. It always backs to normal. No matter how you bend and twist it. Let's do a force test. The PLA looks good and remains the same length. But the TPU doesn't. It becomes longer and unrecoverable. Next, let's compare them with models. Here is a PLA cube. You cannot tell its material by looking at it. But it's hard and inflexible. But TPU prints are much identical. These two cubes bend, so you know it's in TPU. So does this one. Here's a banana we 3D printed with TPU. It looks nice, isn't it? We can bend and squeeze it in any ways. So does the blue one. So TPU could be a great material to print toys. And something needs to be bend and flexible. So I 3D printed a case for my iPhone 12 Pro Max. It looks amazing and high quality. And everything is functional with it. It's also easy to take off. People won't even notice, if I don't tell them how I made it. Next, let me show you how. There are some differences between TPU and PLA. You need a new profile for TPU printing. The layer height could be 0.15 to 0.2. Lower infill density keeps better flexibility. TPU also requires higher temperatures and lower speed. As for the retraction, you can test it with your own TPU. Supports also works in TPU printing. It's better to set a different support density. It will help you remove the support. We will share the profile in the description. Thanks Lmaker underscore 3D for sharing it. This profile works for all the KP series 3D printers. Please download the latest Cura to use it. So we are now ready to print with TPU. Here is it, an amazing banana. 3D printed in TPU material and with supports. It's easy to remove and clean. So does it supports. That's all for today, thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing!